Hello dudes, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture we will understand few basic types of matrix. Uh, so let's get started. First one is symmetric matrix. So symmetric matrix is a matrix for which the transpose of matrix is equal to the original matrix. Okay. For example, if we take, uh, let's take an example like A, B and B, C. It's a 2 cross 2 matrix. Now, if we take transpose of it, this is A. So, if, if we go about finding A transpose, it will be A, B, B and C. Right? So, here the transpose is equal to the original matrix. That's why we say it it is a symmetric matrix okay now let's draw a conclusion here if I'm saying that the transpose is equal to the original matrix this is only possible if and only if A is a square matrix right okay so this is very simple. Now uh, we have few conclusion to draw draw again. So the first one is if A is a matrix. So for any matrix, uh, let's say uh, A into A transpose will be a symmetric matrix. Okay. Again, we can also say that if uh, A is a square matrix, then A plus, or even for all matrix, A plus A transpose upon 2 will be again symmetric matrix. Okay, so these are. Uh, just to keep in mind. Now, uh, next type of matrix is skew symmetric matrix. What is skew symmetric matrix? Similar to symmetric matrix, if transpose of a matrix is equal to negative of the original matrix. Okay, the difference is this negative sign. Okay, so the if the transpose of a matrix is negative equal to negative of the original matrix then we say this is a skew symmetric matrix okay so very simple I'll have an example here for example A equal to let's take uh, A then B then C now if we take here D and here E here F so it should be minus T minus E and minus F okay so if we take this matrix now if you find out the transpose of A it will be equal to if it will be equal to the transpose like it will become A, E, T and uh, well here I have a conclusion to draw I just A, E, T then uh, it will become minus E and minus E minus B minus E yeah, minus E, not B and F, then this one will become minus D, min minus F and C. Okay, so if you see, this is transpose of A, right? But this diagonal element, if you see, diagonal element is not negative. What you need to get is when you transpose, you should have all the elements negative of the original matrix right corresponding elements so here diagonal 
diagonal will remain same even in transpose like tra trace of a is equal to trace of a transpose so the diagonal will be same here so we can draw a conclusion that for a skew symmetric matrix this diagonal element will be zero always because only then even after taking transpose we can have the negative of original matrix like negative of 0 is equal to 0 right so we we should have diagonal elements 0 in case of skew symmetric matrix now we have a obvious matrix which is skew symmetric so for any matrix if we have a minus a transpose upon 2 okay then this will be a always a skew symmetric matrix matrix now we have to study a, again a very simple topic here which is orthogonal matrix orthogonal matrix is uh, having uh, rather more importance than these two because what we say as per definition orthogonal matrix is if transpose of a matrix A is equal to A inverse then we say matrix A is orthogonal orthogonal ok so if we say transpose is equal to inverse it means that as we say A into A inverse is what identity matrix right now if you replace this A inverse by AT so A into AT is equal to <coughs> identity matrix right now this is one conclusion which we can draw another one is this is one conclusion which we can draw now another one is <coughs> if we have A and AT equal to identity matrix now we know that I mean transpose is equal to inverse so A into A inverse we can take equal to identity matrix now if we take determinant of both side okay it will be equal to A determinant square as we know that this is A inverse so we can write here a square equal to uh, equal to identity or and the determinant of identity will be equal to what will be equal to 1 okay so now determinant of a is equal to 1 so two conclusions we can draw one is <laughs> that the determinant of orthogonal matrix will be 1 and a into a transpose will be equal to identity matrix okay we had a gate question in uh, some different branch maybe in electronics and which came entirely on this concept and it was asked for two marks okay so please remember these concepts i hope you understand it see you in the next lecture